What is going on YouTube? This is Nick with Hilltop TCG back again with another video. And today, guys, we're going to get an early look at the Paldean Fates Mini Tins. Let's go. What is going on Hilltop TCG family? Guys, that's right, today we have an early look at the Paldean Fates Mini Tins and we're ripping a full case today, guys. So 10 Mini Tins to come, you guys. Again, this is my, one, probably one of my favorite products to collect because it is a low print run, um, looks good on a shelf, one of my favorite things to collect and we'll get into that here in a minute. But let's take a look at the market on these Mini Tins before we get into anything else, you guys. So, Mini Tins. These are supposed to be $10 MSRP a piece. So they used to be nine. Now they're $10 MSRP a piece. And I mean, the market's pretty stable on these. So we got $103 for a, a case of 10. Interesting to see a set of five is $62. So if you do the math, that's over $120 um, for a set there. Interesting. And all the other ones are around $11. So a dollar over MSRP for all the individual um, tins there. And if you look at the market on these and if they're selling I mean you can kind of see the downward a little graph but I mean 69 at the high so it's only gone down you know five six seven eight bucks but I mean tons of sales today so well not tons of sales but I mean probably two three boxes selling each day or I guess these are sets of five selling two three of them a day right now which is not a crazy amount of sales but there are sales happening and then if you look at the big case which is something that I would highly recommend going out and buying Started out at 160 bucks and now it's down to 100 and 600, 106 dollars market price. Looks like they're selling for um, 103 dollars down below. But I mean, look at that today, yesterday, all of them are selling for 106 bucks. So these sales are happening as well. And this is again something that I would say go pick up, you guys. So market's pretty stable on those. Basically paying MSRP for a case on TCG Player right now, shipped, which is cool. Um, let's take a look at this box. So I mean, in my opinion, just want to. It just looks cool. Encased well, um, small, again, low print runs, so they won't ever print these again. So the only thing to do is go up in value. So on these specialty sets, I love collecting these mini tin um, cases. So low print runs, I mean, that's that's why, right? And just it's not a massive big case of like premium boxes or things like that that is in a brown box. You can't really tell what it is. This looks, this looks really good. All right, guys, so... Great display here. You're going to see these like this on Walmart shelves and probably at your LGSs as well. Let's take a look at the five different tin arts real quick. Um, love the love the dolphin one. They're kind of all random in there. We got the mouse ooh, and then the tink. All right. So let's take a look at the arts on these tins real quick. Again, guys, we're ripping that full case. So we're going to understand those ratios on each one of these tins. So Gotta love it. I mean, love the art there. Let's let's showcase each one. We got the mouses. I don't know all these names. I'll, I'll be honest. Love it, love it, and love it. Can't can't complain with the arts, guys. Let's take a look at one of these on the inside, guys. Let's see what comes inside each one, and then I'll just rip all the other ones open off screen, and we'll check out those ratios. Guys, we're doing ten times two, twenty packs. 20 packs today in this video, guys. We're going to see what those ratios are like. So inside, you get two packs. Empty tin right there. And then you get the card that creates the art. We'll take a look at that here in a moment. And then we got a sticker, which also creates the art as well. Um, kind of interesting. I don't really consider that a sticker. I like the the sticker, the tech sticker collections better. That's just literally the same thing in a sticker form. So that's interesting. But all right, guys. So we got two packs in each of those. You saw that. I'm going to get these other ones open. And we're going to... Take a look at those ratios. All right, guys, I got it all open. We got all 20 packs up here. We got this um, weird thing down there. We'll talk about it here in a minute. There's all the stickers, the same thing. I mean, it's literally these in a sticker form. I think they could have done better on that side of the coin. Guys, this probably took me a solid one minute to like put together. Like it was an awkward puzzle. I'm glad I sh I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna definitely cut that out. But I mean, the ribbon, you can like kind of look at the ribbon, but this little the dolphin threw me off because there's like a little piece right there that connects to this and then it's kind of like just chilling out by itself. So I don't know. There you go, guys. I don't know what you do with that, but pretty cool there. Well, what we care about is these packs and those ratios, or at least what I care about. Super cool there. Guys, 20 packs here. So we got 20 packs. Um, first thing though. Hey, guys, don't forget to like this video. Smash that subscribe button. Click the little bell to get notified each time we do post a video, guys. All that goes such a long way and means a bunch. So please go do it. 
All right, guys, first pack, we got 20 of them. What, so ratio should say probably 10 to 12? 10, 10 to 12 hits we shall see out of these mini um, tins, you guys. Nothing on that first pack. 10 to 12 hits, yeah, that should probably be, should probably equate out right. We'll see, and we got the Vile Plume. Love the R on that Vile Plume. Oh, we got Palflin hiding in the background as well. Got an IR and a Vile Plume out of the second pack, you guys. Super crazy. Um, again, ooh, all right, we got the Glimora, the um, SSR. Nobody wants poor, poor SSR. I say that because it's like a dollar card. You probably, probably saw it on screen. Maybe it wasn't even worth it for me to put the price up. I probably put the price up, but it's sad, like a dollar card. Um, wow, wow, Paldean students, we're getting great, great hit ratios here, let's go. Um, but I mean, yeah, great price, great invest investment product in my opinion. I mean, like I said, they don't print too many of these mini tins if you can get your hands on a sealed case. Um, I'd say it's worth it, got a great tusk right there. Um, for on the investment side, they're only gonna go up in value, especially on popular specialty sets. I don't really collect like the other one-off mini tins, but all like 151 mini tins, um, I always make a point to to collect those because they just go up in value. And right now they're only 103 bucks. What, what was that? 103, 106 bucks on TCG Player. So they're they're not like crazy overpriced right now. Um, worth it to go buy, in my opinion. All right, we got hot for a minute and slowed down. We have a decent looking board here. We got the Spear Tomb. Gotta love the Spear Tomb. Love that one. It's as creepy as Pokemon gets, <laughs> which isn't very creepy at all. Yeah, a couple baby shinies. Um, got a big shiny. Ooh, we got the double banger. All right, we got the Coridon and the mouse hole. The mouse hole is a big one. I think that's pretty playable. And then we got a UR. So let's go with that gold action. Those are pretty rare to hit. Let's go. All right, board is looking good. Got some gold on it now. Can't complain with that Coridon action. And got oh, two of those packs so far. Have had double bangers in it, double banger packs, which is super cool to see. Super crazy ratios. On to our second half right now of the mini tins. 20 packs here, guys. I've ripped through them like candy. I never slow roll. <laughs> I try to slow roll sometimes and it just never works out, so I just get right to the point. But that's just what Nick does. Here we go. Come on. Nothing. So we've been on a freaking dry spell. These other mini tins have been stinky. Is that three mini tins without a hit? Holy smokes, guys. Maybe, maybe not crazy as crazy ratios as I was uh, thinking. Hey, right, there we go. We got a Ryolu baby shiny. We needed something. Needed a little bit of a pick me up there on the mini tin front. All right, come on. Let's see what we can get. We got a Spartha, a little bit of a filler EX there. That is okay. Let's go. Can we get something big? I got 20 packs, guys. Obviously, the ratios, you're gonna have to get pretty, pretty lucky to get anything crazy out of 20 packs. I mean, Paladin Fates is hard. Um, hit those SIRs. We hit the UR, the ultra rare gold, which is a big deal. Those are hard to hit, but we got that knackle stack right there. We'll take that. All right, we got, what, two two packs left, you guys. Two packs left. Let's see what we can do in these two packs. And, ooh, we got the slow bro. All right, I love that guy. Love the slow bro, okay. Love the slow dude. All right, last pack magic. That slow bro made it all better. Absolutely love it. Can we see anything special? And nothing in that last pack, you guys. So, Let's take a little quick count ski here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 hits. So there we go. I guessed either 10, 12. We hit 13 hits. Absolutely awesome. I'll be honest, guys, I've ripped a few of these cases already on stream. So I was actually kind of eager. And these are probably the least hit rates that I've seen out of these mini tins. We were, we were doing a stream and we probably went, I think we went at one point, it was like 24 for 20. So like out of 20 mini tins, we had literally 24 hits. So like over 100% hit ratio for a long time on these. So I would say this, I mean, this is a great data set. It brings down the average a little bit, but still, I would go buy these off the shelves for 10 bucks for two packs, $5 a piece, not a bad deal. And your odds of getting a hit are incredibly high. Like I said, we had like literally over 100% hit rate for a long time in our stream. So super crazy guys. Can't complain about these awesome baby shinies and the hits there, but guys, hey, 
Let me know what you think about in the comments below. If you made it to the end of this video, you are an absolute legend. Have a great night, weekend, whatever's for you. Peace.